Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kim and Dan, and today we're in our backyard. At the time of filming this, it's November, and the leaves have changed. Yeah, it's so pretty out. Today we're going to be planting some tulip bulbs for next spring. Let's get started! Dan, have you planted tulips before? No, but Kim has done a lot of research online, so... I'm an expert. She's an expert, yeah. Basically, that's, that's Basically. what happens here. So I've never planted anything outside before, but I do have knowledge in indoor house plants. Maybe an obsession. <laughs> Maybe a jungle. So hopefully that transfers to outside. Um, so we're thinking of planting in two different locations around our house. One that's sort of by the driveway and another that's right here in our backyard. So tulips typically like six hours of full sun. So that might be a little tricky in our backyard because we have so many trees and that changes the amount of sunlight throughout the day. But hopefully we found a spot that gets enough sunlight. Yeah. Show me your bulbs. Show me, yes, let's talk bulbs. All right, so we've got a couple different things with us today. So we went a bit crazy with all the varieties. We've got six bulbs of the Tulip Oxford Elite. They're a bicolor bloom, they look really cute. Then we've got six bulbs of the Tulip Orange Van Eyck. I think they're kind of like a salmon color. We've got a hefty 25 bulbs of the Tulip Single Late Mix. And that's just like a variety of pink, white, yellow, and purple kind of like how my Animal Crossing island looks. <laughs> we actually also got different types of bulbs. These are hyacinths. These were right next to the tulips in the store and Kim's been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. So I just thought we gotta get some hyacinths because her island is covered in them. Yeah, and I almost forgot to say, we also have this chicken wire, which I'll talk about later. And for fertilizer, we chose bone meal. All right, so I've got a shovel. Uh, I'm gonna dig up the plant bed uh, so that we can put our bulbs in and mix our dirt. There's a little bit of like weed barrier that we think is from our previous owners and we're just gonna dig that up too because we don't really want to use it. Yes! So now that we've got it all cleaned up, we're gonna get some soil and mix it in. <laughs> Technique, Kim. Technique. 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 This looks like very rich, fancy soil. Full of pumice. Pumice? Pumice. Pumice? We get a lot of like weeds, but they're dead and don't know what to do with them. Get out of here, leaves. We need a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we can teach our birds to do this. How so? I don't know. Benji's pretty good with his beak. <laughs> Are those gardening pants? No. <laughs> They're expensive Brandy Melville pants. Yeah, can we even wash those? Yeah, I can wash them. Okay. I'm just gonna wash them. You're gardening in your high heels and your Brandy Melville pants. <laughs> They're not high heels. They're like one inch boots. Your low heels? <laughs> they give me a confidence. <laughs> Is that a nail? I think we found a nail. I don't think that belongs in our garden. I heard that like there'll be really bad quality bags of mulch that'll have nails in there and you have to be careful. So Kim, how deep do you think we're going to have to dig down to plant our bulbs? Um, tulips need six to eight inches. We got Kim these really nice garden shoveling things. From Fiskars. Yeah, this one only goes down to five. Oh, okay. that's centimeters. Ugh. Oh, it is inches. It goes down to five inches in the back. Okay, we're gonna move the pile of dirt that we just mixed up out of the way so we can put our bulbs in and then we're gonna put our chicken wire over on top of that. We're digging down six inches. They're gonna be sleeping with the worms. Okay, let's bring these guys over. All right, so we've dug our, um, is this a trench? Yeah, it's kind of a trench, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's like the right terminology, but we've dug our trench down to like six inches and I'm gonna go ahead and place these bulbs down pointy side up and then there's like a flat bottom and they should be I think three to four inches apart Kim what's next? Uh, so we're going to spread a layer of dirt and then I've got some bone meal that we're going to sprinkle in as fertilizer. Oh my god, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing this! <coughs> 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 
that's probably perfect. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit of dirt on top and then I'm gonna mix it as best I can. It's time for the claw. The claw. claw. All right, so we're finally gonna get to the chicken wire that we've been talking about. The reason why we need chicken wire is because we have a lot of squirrels here and they dig up our garden and our yard and they make holes everywhere, especially over by the playground. So we've got some holes here and here and here and over here. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> so we're gonna put this over the flower bed and then we're gonna bury it so that it looks nice. This is gonna stop the squirrels from digging up our bulbs and eating them. So in the spring, once the bulbs start to sprout, we're gonna dig up the chicken wire and take it off. So while Dan is holding both sides for us, cause it does spring back up if you're not holding on, <laughs> um, I wanted to show you we have these landscape pins. They were super cheap and I think it's an easy way to just make sure that the chicken wire stays put in the ground. I'm getting comfortable. Still a pose, a French lady pose. Like this. Probably make sure that you don't stab a bulb. I hope I don't. Ah! <laughs> I hear them screaming. Nice. Yay! Now for the easiest part. We're going to bury it. Yeah. Um, so we've got a bunch of dirt in our grass from when we dug up the garden bed. Next time we do this, we're going to use a tarp so that way cleanup is a lot easier. Now we've got some mulch that we're gonna put on top of the flower bed. Yep. And then I think we'll be done yeah, for today. Yeah, should be it. We still need to do this area, but maybe next time. Hi everybody, it's getting chilly and it's getting dark, but we're done for today and we just finished planting our tulips. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> we just wanted to end this video by saying thanks for watching. And if you wanna see some updates, Kim's gonna be posting pictures on our Instagram. Yep, the handle is it's Kim and Dan. See you there.